Rocky. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeff with Pack Geek here. We've got another awesome guest host today for the show. Ooh. He is, he's an actor, he's a host, he is a card collector, Josh Durham. Oh, this Thank guy. You. Oh, okay, hi. This guy, this guy. Thank you for uh, for joining me yeah. for an uh, episode today, man. You were, uh, you were high on the list, so I'm awesome. excited to have you I here. I appreciate it, yeah. And uh, so you're, you're an active collector. What, what do you? Absolutely. I, I got back into it a few years ago. Of course, you know when I was little, that's what we did. We played wiffle ball, and we, um, shout out to the Shade Lane Gang, my neighborhood. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we played wiffle ball and played um, uh, that all day long. Then when uh, we got tired of that, we traded baseball cards under my tree in my front yard. So uh, yeah, lots of uh, Kirby Puckett, Wade Boggs, uh, Griffey trades happened in my front yard. So. Dude, did you ever put cards in spokes of bicycles? Because no. I hear people talk about that. I'm like, I I would have cringed if any of my friends put their cards in the spokes of their bicycle. But that was probably a generation before yeah, us. Yeah, that but. was a capital sin in, in, my, in my mind. Yeah, that was like the worst thing ever. Because, you know, we were, of course, saving for our college then, you know. And of course, you know, I, later we found out that, um, yeah. Okay, not as much as we thought they'd be, but it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> that that Griffey Junior rookie is only going to get you through like one yeah. book in college, yeah. but that's alright. Maybe it's still an awesome <laughs> card. So, do you have a, a favorite collectible that comes to mind? Man, my my favorite guy growing up was Wade Boggs. Like, oh, yeah. Love that guy at all. Pretty much all of his cards. Got a few of his um, his '83 tops rookies. I'm a big Yankees fan. Um, big vintage Yankees fan. Uh, a lot of um, autographed Yankees memorabilia, so that's my stuff. Um, is you know vintage cards, cards for sure. So a lot of that in my collection. Uh, of course, I still have all my original stuff from the '80s and '90s. Yeah, yeah of course. That's... Can't can't let it go. It's like oh, Dude, it's part it, of my childhood. It's weird that you liked Wade Box because you you did not grow up in Massachusetts no. or anywhere on the East Coast. I grew up in Kansas. And of course, I, I love the Royals, but mm -hmm. for some reason, I loved the Red Sox yeah. in the 80s. Like, I remember around like 88, 89, I was a huge Mike Greenwell fan. I loved Ellis Burks. Gator course, Greenwell, I loved, yeah. I loved Boggs and uh, Jody Reed and Clemens, and, and they had a Marty great Barrett. squad. Yeah. And maybe it's just if you're a card collector, they had so many great players that you could go after in their sets, but I, I can totally relate to that. Awesome. Um, so, uh, I, I know you're obviously super into basketball. You got the Mavs jacket on right Hometown now. Team. So I, I picked a set that uh, is is a set that I collected heavily as a kid, and I believe you used to open these up, or maybe still open these up. Uh, 1989 Hoops Series One. Ooh. Now this set, I, again, I grew up in Kansas, so this set was huge for me because mm -hmm. it had the Danny Manning rookie Danny Manning. and the Mitch Richmond rookie. So you had KU and K State yeah. represented their, you know, their their franchise players. And we just loved those guys. So the fact that they were both in one set literally drew me into collecting basketball cards. Awesome. So, uh, so we've also got, of course, the biggest hit would be a David Robinson rookie, who I'm sure you're probably the not a fan of as a as a Mavs. <laughs> um, a Jordan, a great looking Jordan card. There is the Kevin Johnson rookie, KJ, KJ. and then of course you got Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen second year. So there's there's a lot of great cards in this. Uh, and I think we should go ahead and bust into these. Let's and bust into them. See what we find. So there's three packs for you, three packs awesome. for me. So any hits, we're just gonna we're gonna show the audience so they can follow along with us. I feel like I'm opening up with the <laughs> Declaration of Independence here. <laughs> the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> All right. And I would love to pull a nice minty Jordan out of these. So it looks like I got a first card. Dude! The Akeem Elijah one. <laughs> so yeah, so he's got... He switched back and forth between names there for a little so while. So he was, was it Hakeem and then he went to Akeem? Yeah, I was actually talking to somebody about that the other day. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to get some, get some uh, so judge call on show that. Show that one out here. There you go. Akeem, and that's your first card. So. First card. Might be a sign of things to come. Yeah. I got a Dennis Rodman. We got the worm Oh, here. sweet. Large part of the Nasty Boys. That's right. Yeah, you got that right. We'll do that. The hit pile. Let's see. Oh, 
Can he Skywalker? What? I could dunk. Dude, did anyone know that guy outside of the dunk contest? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I got a Scotty Pippen second year card. Pretty nice. Oh. This is how you know you old. His son now plays in the NBA. Larry Nance, yeah. So and his son plays in the NBA. <laughs> Oh, Michael Thompson. Yeah, that's uh, Clay Thompson's dad. <laughs> All right, so, man, I feel pretty good about that first pack. The person, John, guy. Oh, another, I got a Rodman, another too. Rodman. Another Rodman. Another Rodman. All right. I think that's a pretty successful first know, pack that's for each of us. Nice little first pack, yeah. I think I may have edged you out a little bit with the, the Pippin. If, yeah, if we're nice. keeping score. Uh-oh, I'm seeing some, some, some hits in this one. Okay, so dude, while we're opening, you have a baby on the way. Oh, I do, yeah, congrats. That is I'm super excited about that, Extra yeah. exciting news. Now, uh, whether it's a little boy or a little girl, do you think you're gonna be trying to turn them on to card collecting at all? Absolutely, like one of the reasons I collect now is to you know have a legacy to, to give my children something one day so they can see like, okay, this is what dad like. Hopefully they'll like who I like. Yeah. If not, then, you know, <laughs> must, must have another children. a huge Spurs fan and yeah. you're forced to disown your child. I, I have a Akeem Olajuwon as well. Lucky. I think I'm going out the same pack here. Sam Bowie, known for getting drafted before Michael Jordan. I'll see your Sam Bowie and raise you with Sam Bowie. <laughs> Boom, double hit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try Patrick Ewing. Patrick Chewing. <laughs> I always like Patrick Ewing. Akeem Olajuwon All-Star? Sweet. I'm cheating. I'm cheating, <laughs> but I see a really nice hit in there. Got a Magic Johnson card here. Man, these are full of hits. This is like a trail down memory lane. Reggie Miller. <laughs> For all you kids at home, he is an analyst. Dude, he broke so many hearts during the NBA playoffs. John Sally. Give me some low of that. <laughs> Charles Barkley. Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Hey kids, at home, this is my basketball car. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first Barkley impression <laughs> on Pack Geek. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right, man. This, is, this has been successful. Last this pack. Back in the days of 15 packs. 15 cards a pack, wow, I'm, yeah, like, no. I'm like, is this pack ending? Okay, so I have another Patrick Ewing. Who's this guy, Irvin Johnson? Oh, related to Magic Man. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we not consider Kevin McHale a hit? Another Charles Barkley. <gasps> oh. Oh. And the human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins. Always loved Neek. He was always oh wow, always a stud in the the dunk contest too. Had serious hops. And Pat Riley. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Finish it off with the, the famous coach, Pat Riley. Awesome. All right, man. That was a blast, dude. Yeah. Thank you for joining me for this. It's awesome. That was. We'll, we'll have to do this again and open up some more hoops or anything for that matter. Yes. Guys, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been a great time. We got more, more rips to come. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode. Make sure to subscribe to Pack Geek on YouTube. Also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks. Pack Geek.